Stonehenge, standing prominently on the Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, has captivated the imaginations of historians, archaeologists, and mystics for centuries. But what is the true purpose behind these towering stones? Is it a prehistoric observatory, a spiritual temple, or does it hold an even deeper secret? Today, we dive into the top 20 theories and uses of Stonehenge, exploring everything from grounded scientific hypotheses to the more mystical speculations. Join us as we attempt to unravel the enigmatic allure of these ancient stones. Number 20, a place where aliens can land. Some crazier theories say that Stonehenge might have been built by or for aliens. How its big stones are arranged could help alien spaceships find their way. Even though this idea is controversial, a lot of people are interested in it because they want to know what people in the past could and couldn't do. Number 19, a way to get to another world. Many people who are interested in metaphysics think that Stonehenge is a way to access other worlds. Some individuals think that the old stones are like portals that let people visit other worlds and interact with their inhabitants. People think these crazy things because Stonehenge is mysterious and is thought to be linked to strange things happening on other planets. Number 18, the sound experiment. Researchers who have looked into the sound at Stonehenge think it may have been used for sound studies. The building might have made much louder sounds during ceremonies or meetings, which would have been good. The people who created this sound phenomenon knew a lot about sound. Number 17 of the memory code. Some people think that Stonehenge was built to help people remember things and pass them on from one age to the next. Because of how it was built and where the stones were placed, it helped people learn or remember important cultural knowledge. This idea brings the site's possible value in Neolithic people's ways of learning to the fore. Number 16, setting up a gallery to show off art. When you think of Stonehenge as a work of Neolithic art, you can see how creative and skilled the people who built it were. The website mixes useful and beautiful features to show a more refined side of traditional art. The item is recognized for more than just how it works. It also remembers the art of the time. Number 15, the 15th is a sign of unity. The Neolithic people who lived in the area built Stonehenge to show they were peaceful and wanted to stay together. A lot of different people worked together to make it happen, and it could be a big step toward bringing people together. The place has a long past and was an important place for ancient communities to get together and find peace. Number 14, Stonehenge could have been used as a learning tool in many ways, such as to show how the sky works and how the seasons change. As the sun went down and the stars came out, this was a great way to teach science and keep track of time. During the Neolithic time, Stonehenge would have been where people went to learn new things. Number 13, keep your eyes on the moon. Stonehenge may have been used for more than lining up with the sun. At some point, it may have also been used to look at the moon. Because of its location, it can keep track of lunar cycles and alignments, which can help with things like rituals or just keeping track of time. Since it was also used as a sky observatory, it is clear that it was an important part of the study of old astronomy. Number 12, where to pray to the sun. Stonehenge is often considered a place to honor the sun because it is linked with the summer and winter solstices. Considering these angles, it is likely that the site was used for ceremonies honoring the sun as the source of life. There is evidence for this idea in that many people still go to Stonehenge to celebrate the summer solstice. Number 11, territory marker. Stonehenge is so big that it's possible that it was used as a form of property marking in the Neolithic era. As proof that one group is present and in charge, it could be used to mark the border between tribal or traditional areas. It would have been very clear who ruled the area and what they could do if there were a particularly well-known symbol. Number 10, a place where cultural events can happen. Stonehenge was where people from different groups held fairs, social events, and trading activities. Due to its central position and interesting buildings, it was a place where people from other groups could get together and talk about their traditions. It was also a good place for community events. Because of this idea, it is clear that Stonehenge had a social purpose along with its religious and magical ones. Number 9. The Geomantic Hinge some people think the place is integral to a larger network of ley lines and earth forces. Some people believe that Stonehenge was built in a way that allowed it to connect to these geomantic currents and work as a central energy hub. The spiritual and physical importance of the place would be brought to the fore with this feature. Number 8. Observatory so that people can look at the stars. Many people believe that Stonehenge was a science station used to monitor celestial events and predict eclipses. The people who built the stones clearly understood science because the stones are perfectly aligned with different celestial events. 
This makes it clear that Stonehenge was more than just a place to worship or perform rituals. In addition, it was a pretty high-tech tool that experts could use for their work. Number seven, the site of the coronation. Meanwhile, some people think that during the Neolithic period, Stonehenge was used to crown kings, queens, and other important people. The place is big and important, so it would be perfect for these kinds of events. This use would have to show how important the place was in ancient society's social and political systems. Number six, the graveyard. Human remains have been found near Stonehenge, showing that the area was once a cemetery. Stonehenge's use as a graveyard suggests that it may have been a place where people remembered and honored the dead. This could have something to do with ideas about the afterlife and honoring ancestors. Number five, sound and sound, the fifth point. An interesting new study suggests that Stonehenge may have been built to boost sounds and create a particular sound world. With this added, the ceremony, talks, or musical performances might have been better, and the space would have been perfect for significant events. Because of how much stress was put on acoustics, the people who made it may have had a deep understanding of sound engineering. Number four, the Druid Temple. People started to think that Stonehenge was a Druid temple in the 1600s, and that idea has stuck around ever since, even though the Druids lived a long time after Stonehenge was built. A common misunderstanding is that the place has something to do with the faith and rituals of the Celts. However, this is not true in terms of history. Many people are still interested in the idea that Druidic gatherings happened at Stonehenge. Number three, a place to heal. In the past, Stonehenge may have been seen as a place where people went to get better, like Lourdes, which is often thought of today. It has been suggested that people went on long journeys because they thought the stones could fix them. From this point of view, Stonehenge looks like a place where ancient people could have found peace and health. Number two, the ceremony site. Many different meanings are connected to Stonehenge because it is thought to have been the site of events about the stars, fertility, or death. The exact placement of the buildings would have made the ritual stronger by lining them up with natural events, giving them a cosmic meaning. It was an important part of Neolithic religion and social life because it could be used for so many things. Number one, the old time calendar. The fact that Stonehenge is in sync with the sun and moon cycles makes it possible that it was used as an old calendar. It is thought that the place was used to keep track of the seasons, specifically the solstices and equinoxes, which were important for planning religious and farming events. Stonehenge was built and used as a calendar, which shows how important it was to the people who built it and used it to keep their daily lives and habits in order. As we conclude our exploration of Stonehenge, the monument's true purpose remains as enigmatic as the stones themselves. Whether as an astronomical tool, a healing ground, or a sacred temple, Stonehenge continues to be a focal point of mystery and debate. What do you think was the original purpose of Stonehenge? Share your thoughts and join the conversation below. If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more mysterious content. Keep questioning, keep exploring, and together we may one day uncover the hidden truths of our ancestors.